what would it mean to build something fresh yet get it integrated into the overall scheme of a business park which had almost 60% of it already occupied? The story of Tower 3 of the Oxygen Business Park at Noida is one such fascinating story. Our brief was uh, create something that is uh, new and fresh and not take what is already built. At the same time, don't make it so different that uh, it undermines the tenancy of the or the flexibility of tenancy for the others that already exist on site. So we had to take clues from there. Uh, we had to do the master plan in such a way that our buildings get integrated into the overall scheme and overall plan. Um, they also wanted to use this to enhance the entire campus, including the buildings in and around, uh, as part of the whole the campus of Oxygen Business Park. So the brief was very clear, integrate, yet create something uh, new and fresh. If you actually notice, uh, the other buildings were a bit form-oriented, uh, whereas here, uh, everything about the uh, place is very simple, uh, very efficient flow plates. Um, we decided to do three buildings. Uh, the three buildings had three different floor plates with one building which is the tower three as, as the focus that kind of uh, locked in the entire master plan together uh, and the other two being on the face. While daylight penetration into the interior contributes towards the high energy efficiency of the building, it enhances the work environment as well. Two, two, two elements here, one the client did want a, a lead gold rated and a highly energy efficient building um, and as part of that exercise we had to ensure that uh, the selection of the materials uh, is conducive for uh, better efficiencies of air, air conditioning loads and uh, other things but we also had to ensure that there is a good penetration of daylight into the interior spaces. Um, that creates also points for the rating, but it also uh, enhances the value of the interior because you have better daylight inside. Um, and all the toilets and all the dark areas, uh, services, air chews, electrical, uh, fire stairs, they're all tucked away into the middle of the building. Uh, and, and that allows us to have almost a you know, 360 degree view around the building. As we, as we walk around it in terms of uh, the daylight coming into the interiors. ACP was used to achieve high energy efficiency and to enhance the aesthetic value of the building too. When we started, um, I think we were quite sure that uh, we wanted to reduce the amount of uh, vision glass. Uh, in, again, going back to the idea that uh, we wanted a fairly energy efficient building. Uh, and the automatic choice for us to create some of these panels were with ACP. Uh, and we use that quite effectively here, not just to blank off areas which were unnecessary and not required to be glass, but uh, also uh, in terms of uh, you know, uh, being able to take the ACP and create an element out of it uh, so that there is uh, an aesthetic value associated with it. Uh, so we use the ACP as a frame within which the glass sits. If you actually see the building, uh, both the Tower 3 and Tower 2, you would notice that the ACP is the hero element that ties up all the glass together. ACP was used to treat the porch of the building in a very special way. Part of the reason uh, is the way the design evolved uh, for the Tower 3, uh, which is the centerpiece of this campus. Uh, we also saw the Tower 3 ground floor as the place of entry for uh, most people. Um, the drop-off happens under that tower and everybody then uses an escalator or staircase to go up to the podium to enter the rest of the buildings. Uh, that made the ground floor of Tower 3 or the porch or the portico very important. So, you know, as part of the entire design exercise, you would see a lot of cladding and soffits being used in ACP 
uh, along with treating that entire porch as in a very special way uh, because that's the primary circulation of people coming either by car or people coming by uh, buses and they all get dropped off at this porch and then you know use the staircases to go up or the escalators to go up uh, so that's that's the reason why you do see a lot of uh, acp being used uh, on the columns because we we wanted them to be cladded mandatory use of fire retardant acp is fast becoming a trend most of the clients uh, now as well as when we were doing this uh, were quite insistent that that's the route they wanted to take um and uh, the premium that we had to pay for the fire rated was uh, obviously something that nobody wanted to compromise with uh, and and that's how the fire rated as an as an idea came in uh and in a matter of i think a couple of years not just this project uh, it's the industry norm now we're not using acp in any other fashion in in almost any building that we are doing today it is i mean it's pre assumed now that it will be fire rated